This is Marvel Universe World War Hulk, courtesy of Aetherus 69. He's a really cool guy. Uh, and um, this figure, some people might refer to him as either King Hulk or Planet Hulk. And if you like the movie Planet Hulk, this is the figure for you. And um, yes, this is the chase figure of the uh, first series of the 2011 Marvel Universe figure. And uh the figure is amazing i just have two things that i'm not very happy with but first let's look at the packaging uh the usual uh marvel universe packaging with just different uh decoration and this is figure three of series three or 2011 and this is the uh, picture of the figure this is a little paragraph about him uh, that he was sent to another planet by those who uh, who he was trying to protect. So that's a little summary. And beside King Hulk, you can uh, purchase Sp Spider Woman, Spider Man 2099, or the modular armor Iron Man. And down here is Commander Steve Rogers. Uh, now let's first go over uh, the accessories. Well, beside the base that says Hulk and 003, he comes with uh, a shield that can clip onto his forearm or his wrist, a sword, and this little axe. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't come with this big axe. This one came from the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legend Thor, the one with the bear. Uh, well, the, as, as you can see, the handle is really big. I mean, it fit the figure very well. The problem with this axe and this saw is that the handles are way too small. And the hand grip on him is really big, as you can see. And he, I mean, it's, it's, it's like this. I mean, has Hasbro should have done better. I mean... I mean, they should have seen this when they were well when they tested out the figure. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Uh, and 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 both of the well, both of them had the same problem. I mean, I mean, if one of them has, I mean, if one of them can fit the figure, I'm not gonna complain. But this is just upsetting. So uh, let's take uh, let's remove that axe. And uh, I have no problem with the shield. I mean, it clips on to the fall, well, to the bridge, very good, and just stay on really well. Uh, the sculpting on the figure is amazing. I, th I think you can see that by now. Uh, I mean, down to his, his, his muscle, down to the scratches on his uh, skin, and on to his, uh, his foot very nice and these straps are molded onto his thigh as well as the uh, metal armor on his left hand and this this loan cloth and bell is another blue piece and same as this uh, strap and their toy armor but anyway you can see uh, well, amazing figure, and I especially love the head sculpt on this guy. I mean, uh, not a lot of figure that you've seen facial uh, facial expression on them, but this one is it, and the articulation on the head is very nice. So uh, he can move like that. He can move all the way down. Maybe, uh, in maybe in case you wanna pose him, you know, jumping, jumping down from the sky, and he's about to do the storm. And yet he can do that very nice. Uh, so uh, this is a ball joint, by the way. And the neck can move a little bit, servo, but uh, but mainly the ball jointed head is in well, a ball joint in the head and a hinge on the neck. So that's really cool. Um, uh, his shoulder is a ball joint, servo at the bicep. Uh, and a hinge at the elbow, silver at the uh, uh, the wrist. He has a ball jointed torso and a silver waist. 
um, might not be that necessary but uh, well the more joints well for me uh, the more joints the better uh, he has a ball jointed uh, hip silver at the upper thigh bends at two point at the knee and a ball jointed ankle so just really awesome figure and I have been going on with articulation. I forgot to uh, go over the second point why I'm not happy with it. And it is the size of this figure. Uh, I mean, certainly he's uh, too short. I mean, the Hulk has to be taller than Thor, right? I mean, why is he the why is he the same size as Thor? I mean, I can understand why Hasbro doing it. I mean, certainly for well to keep down. Well, to lower the cost and uh, probably don't have to use as much plastic but uh, to me I believe uh, this Hulk should have been about this high and if you have seen the 3 inch 3 quarter figure 3 inch 3 quarter figures that uh, Hasbro has really had um, uh, produced for this line you will know that this is the right size Hulk for the 3 inch 3 quarter figure and compared to the Marvel Universe Thor, I mean, it's look, I mean, look perfect. I'm, I'm, it looked perfect to him, but not this guy. So, so I mean, if they make this Hulk uh, this high and increase the price, let's say fifteen dollars for it, I wouldn't mind buying it. Um, but uh, this Hulk is way too small, so. But well, uh, since this Hulk is in the Marvel Universe line, you might as well buy him. Uh, so anyway, uh, beside the non, well, beside the uh, non-usable uh, weapon and the small size, I still say this is a great figure. Uh, nonetheless, you can display this with uh, any other Marvel Universe figure, especially he's a Mar he he's a Marvel Universe figure himself. And uh, right now, I think that you can find this figure as almost anywhere where they sell toys. Let's say Walmart or uh, Target or Toys R Us, especially check Toys R Us. This figure will now uh, cost you about probably 8 or $9, uh, probably more depending on your location and uh, where you are buying it. Uh, but I still highly recommend this. Just the sculpting on this figure alone is enough uh, to, uh, well, I think it's enough for your uh, for your money, the price that you're paying for him. So if you can still find this guy, and you're a big Marvel Universe fan, and you're collecting Marvel Universe, this is another Marvel Universe figure for you. I highly recommend this guy. He's a chase figure, so look for him if you can. And get him if you see him at retail and thanks for watching